Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This week we've got some more Star Wars Legion uh, battle droids. These are destroyer droids, actually. Uh, the, you know, the ones that, that roll on the ground, pop up, and then boom, they throw that shield up and, and they get to town. Um, uh, and then they're very, very difficult to destroy. But actually, if you go watch, uh, I don't know what episode it is, there's some episodes in the Clone War where Ahsoka teaches, uh, you know, some of these rebels how to take these things out. Pretty cool. Go check it out. Anyway, uh, we, this is going to be a quick little video. Uh, you know, and, and again, we're, we're pushing Legion because I've got a ton of models. And also, AMG just announced that they, they, they dropped a new rule set for, for Legion. Uh, they're, they're not calling it 2.0, but it's pretty much 2.0. But it, it, what it allows for is just some some different builds, some more unique builds, and also you can you can field more stormtroopers, like all stormtroopers or all droids, if you want. Uh, you know that 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 sounds kind of fun, actually. Get some heroes up against a bunch of uh, just a horde of droids. That that would be fun. Or or Leia, Luke, and, and Han up against a bunch of stormtroopers. Uh, that 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 would be a blast. Anyway, guys, uh, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel. I'll see you guys in there. Alright, for these guys I want to do something a little different and I think I'm going to do uh, two, uh, um, these two I'm going to do a different color and these two I'm going to do a different color because I can't decide on, on what color they should be as far as, so with this this set over here I'm going to do a base mixture of oxide, orange oxide and warm brown as a base and then I'll work out from the orange oxide, right? I, I think that'll, that'll look really nice. And then over here on these two guys I want to use a base of dark orange brown and highlight out to uh, orange brown. And I may add a little brown to this to darken it down just a little bit as a base and then highlight out here. I'm just not quite sure which one of these two really matches the art. I'm just, I'm struggling today. I'm struggling this round. See, there we go. Kind of hard to see, but it's it's kind of a an orangey brown, brown, orange. So the, the orange oxide and brown is probably going to work out the best, but I don't think the dark orange brown will look bad. So uh, we're going to go ahead and experiment. It's usually I just go one straight color, and, but uh, this time we're going to we're going to pick we're going to pick two and, and go with it and, and see which one looks best. And then we're not going to redo the other ones. We'll just leave them as they are, but we'll decide which one looks best. Anyway, let's do it. Just to give you a quick roadmap on this guy, we uh, the, the outer shell is where we're doing the the experiment on colors. The outer shell, the bottom. Uh, there's some side shields here, and there's little things down here, side shields. And then all of the inside is going to be metallic, uh, and including the legs. What I may do is I may come back with my rubber and my rubber highlight as usual, and maybe do some of these back straps back here, like there's some rubber, and, and obviously the cables, the two, uh, you know. These right here, I'll do those rubber and rubber highlight. And uh, I may even do a little glow, maybe not, depending on time. Actually, this is probably a quick a quick video, but uh, I think. I always say that, and they, and they ended up being 15, 20 minutes long. So anyway, well, let's start out with, uh, I think we'll go ahead and start out with the, the uh, brown orange oxide uh, base. All right, let's do it. Also today, I think we're going to stay away from the airbrush. I, I usually you run with the airbrush, and I, I actually planned on using the airbrush uh, for, for this job, but uh, I, I'm gonna gonna use the brush and, and I did a really nice Zenithal on here. It's got some really nice coloration So I'll probably keep my my paints real real thin so I can get that to that Zenithal to come out Just wanted to give you a little roadmap there. All right, let's do it
All right, we got a base down of oxide orange and warm brown. Pretty much 50-50. Uh, this looks really nice. I, I, You know what? I I think I'm going to forget the experiment, and I'm going to go ahead and push forward with this, with this brown. It, it, that's what I was worried about. Maybe I should have just actually tested one beforehand on something else and then went this route instead of going showing all that other stuff anyway this this is a nice brown I'm, I'm really liking this this orange brown this is pretty much what the box art looks like especially after I get done highlighting alright so uh, we're gonna do this on the rest of the models and then we're gonna get on to the silver the dark silver in the middle alright let's do it All right, we got the base down for all of these guys and it was we used the orange oxide with the warm brown leaned a little more towards the brown uh, rather than the orange oxide uh, and, and it turned out really nice now now what we're going to do is we're going to move in with the dark metallic i believe it's uh where to go i have it right here no 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 there it is dark silver we're going to do dark silver, all in the rest of it. I mean, real quick, real simple, right? And then we're going to go back and, and then start our, our little touch-up and fine-tunes. So the next base coat will be dark silver. So we used the orange oxide and the warm brown for our base uh, for, for the for the armor. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to mix this again, but I'm going to use more of the orange oxide so I can start kind of a, a, a mid tone here. So we're going to mix the same same colors, but we're going to use mostly mostly orange oxide, and I'm just going to introduce a little bit of brown. All right, let's do it. There we go. We got the base down. All the highlights. We even all the scratches. We used the 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 orange oxide and the warm brown, and then we used a little bit of that orange brown to give it some highlight, and some scratches, and some weathering, like it's been rolling all over the place. Right. I'm I'm really happy with the color that turned out here. I was, again, it was one of these models. I was I wasn't quite sure where that color was going to end up, but uh, as far as the art's concerned, I, I think we're pretty good here. That's pretty straight. I, I'm real, I'm real, real happy with that. So anyway, what we're going to do next is we're going to move on to the metallics. 
and we're going to start highlighting that with a little bit of a uh, little bit of silver and we're going to do the silver and then we're going to move into the wash and then we'll just start some touch-ups we're, we're pretty much done with this model already <laughs> it, it, it's fast a couple little colors all right let's do it All right, there we go. We got the silver work done. Look at that. That man, it made that metal really pop. And and, and to be honest, I, I don't even know if I have to do a wash here. Uh, these guys look really good. That that's the beauty thing about metallic. Sometimes is you don't really need a wash because especially if you use a black background, it it, it really 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 pops. But I, I may put a little wash down in the areas to kind of fill in some of these little crevices to blend some of that in the back. You know, probably, you know, the stuff that nobody will ever see. You know, <laughs> that's usually how it goes. Anyway, guys, let's uh, let's get the wash, a couple little wash things, and then we're going to move on to those eyes, which probably is the focal point, but, but they're extremely tiny. So I'll see what I can do. All right, let's do it. So we're pretty much done with these guys. All we have to do now are the eyes, and there's three eyes, and, and it's only going to stand out probably on these two. If you you look at these guys over here, their 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 faces are down. I could probably get a little bit of. I'll actually do it just to get the maybe get a little color change in there. But these guys are looking really nice. Look at that metallic with that black wash. That, that looks really really nice. Now I may go back in and do a little touch up, and also. I'll probably put some pigment on and around these guys just to give them a little dusty look. I, I kind of like, you know, these guys are out in the field. They're not on a, a starship or a, you know, space station, so they're not pristine. So they're going to be a little little scratched up from rolling around, and that, that's kind of the effect we went here. All right, so uh, let's, uh, let's get those eyes, and we're going to start with tight bold titanium white as a base and then we'll use our standard uh, transparent red or fluorescent red is it fluorescent red it's fluorescent red fluorescent red all right let's do it
Well, there you have it, guys. Star Wars Legion Destroyer Droids. Ah, what a fast, quick little paint. I struggled a little bit uh, on, on choosing the color, and, and you'll see that where I decide, I thought I was going to go with two colors, and, and, and I didn't. I, I chose not to. I chose to go with that, uh, I think it was Oxide Orange, which is a new uh, color from the set, from the Adepticon set from Monument Hobbies. And I used, uh, what was it, brown. Oh, I can't remember which brown. Let's see. I used warm brown uh, as a mixture for the base, and, and the color turned out great. So I just avoided, uh, or I just I just abandoned uh, the other color for for these uh, for this particular color. Anyway, it, it, what a fun little paint! Real quick, lots more Legion to do. Go check out the new Legion's rule set. It looks very very interesting, and they also have a whole new line of hard plastic models coming out. Man, it's uh, Legion's gonna gonna explode it's gonna gonna get on fire again anyway guys please like and subscribe it really helps support the channel i'll catch you next week